Hi everyone, welcome back to day six of Ending the Garden. And today is actually going to be the last day. Sorry about the background noise. We have landscapers out here. It's quite windy. It's supposed to rain and the sun is trying to break through. So lots of things going on. But today is the day where I'm pulling everything that I can. And technically we have another week of good weather, um, high 60s, low 70s, and it's dry and sunny. So I could technically leave most of these plants in, but as I said in the other videos, I am done gardening, so I am gonna pull all of these things out. Now, in the previous videos, day one through five, you see me go through and pull all these plants. So I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna take you bed by bed, show you what's growing and what I'm going to be pulling and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So we are going to start over on this side of the garden which is off to the side of the house. This side of the garden is going to be the most shaded as we get into fall and winter. I might get a little bit of sun on this side but technically the house shades this whole garden. So this is the first area that I kind of stopped gardening in. So this is the area that I want to pull first. And then you can see here that I've already closed down three of the beds. So we have one, two, three. Basically, I pulled everything out, covered it with a piece of plastic, and I have blocks on top of it to hold the plastic in place. And those beds are done until spring. And I have cabbage in this bed. So technically, this one may or may not do well. I haven't really grown in these beds through fall. So this is my first time doing this. So whether or not those put on growth will be something we can look forward to. So on this side, we have a smaller bed. And this one is filled with tomatillo. And I came through a couple days ago in this bed as well as the other bed and pulled all the fruit that I can. So there might be a couple that can pull today, but for the most part, really shouldn't be anything. So I got all the tomatillos pulled and I pretty much filled a wagon of it. So quite a lot of plants. And then I just have to go in and clean all the leftover debris. I don't ever leave this stuff in here. I know people talk about like chopping and dropping and just letting all the dead stuff remain in the garden bed. I find that this stuff attracts unwanted pests and critters. So I'm gonna remove all as much as I can from out of this bed. And then I'm gonna let it sit for today because we're supposed to get rain. So we'll water this bed one more time and then I'll cover it with plastic just like those ones over there. So the bed is all done, it's nice and clean now. I did wanna mention for the first time, I'm trying something new and that is leaving the roots in. So you can see here where I cut off the tomatillo. I tried to pull it up, but it pulled up a lot of the soil, basically removing most of the soil in the bed. So I'm going to leave it and hopefully it breaks down by the time I come back to plant next year. So we were just working in that bed. We are now moving to this bed right here. And this bed has three artichoke plants. And artichoke is a perennial in my zone. However, last winter it was colder than normal. So all of my artichoke died off and didn't return. I'm going to leave the artichoke and hopefully they'll survive. Also in this bed, I have various different tomato, cherry tomatoes. So I want to get those all pulled and get this bed nice and clean, remove all of the debris and everything. And I may or may not hoop this so that I can protect the artichoke so it can come back next year. I really am growing this artichoke for the flower. It's really pretty if you've never seen one before. I want to make sure that I get artichoke flowers next year. So I may come and do something to protect it. So I cleaned this bed out. It looks really good. And then you can really see the three artichokes there. They're looking very healthy. So hopefully they come back the following year. Next, we're going to move on to this bed. And over on this end, I have some fennel growing. And then I still have some cilantro that I need to harvest. There's a little, there is a little bit of lettuce as well. And then as we move closer to this side of the bed, this part gets a little bit more sun. So all of the cilantro here have gone to seed. I was a little late to picking these. So I'm gonna clean this side of the bed out. This side, I am gonna do a harvest of cilantro. Hopefully in the next day or two, I wanna make some salsa. So I'm not gonna harvest it just yet. And then the fennel, I'm going to leave and see how it does through fall, just like I'm leaving the cabbage back there. So hopefully I can get a harvest out of that. So I'm just going to clean this half of the bed and then I'll come back and we'll move on to another bed. So I got it all cleaned up and hopefully in the next couple of days I'll be able to remove the rest of the cilantro. I still have the hoop system in place. I'm going to leave it for now. I may end up using it in another bed so I don't want to take it down completely. And then I do have some netting off to the side. I'm going to put that out to dry in the sun these next couple of days and that will be put away. So next we are going to this bed which I partially cleaned the tomato that I had here. 
but towards the back there are more tomato. This one is a paste tomato. I'm not exactly sure which variety of it, but there is lots of green tomatoes still left. So I could leave it and hopefully get these to ripen over the next few days, but I'm just gonna pull them. I have plenty of tomatoes that I've been harvesting this whole time that are in the freezer, so I have plenty. So I'm just gonna pull these out. So we got another wagon full of garden debris and this bed is fully cleaned out now. And I'm also gonna cover this bed with plastic because by the late afternoon, this bed is also shaded by the house. So there really is no point in growing this in this bed. So I'm better off protecting it with a plastic. So we're gonna work on these two beds simultaneously. So this one right here is supposed to be my herb bed. It's a pretty sad herb bed. So I have a bunch of green onion that I need to pull because they're super mature. And then this basil looks pretty sad. I did come through and harvest what I can. And then over here in the front, I found some lemongrass seedlings that I started and never got in ground. So I just put them in there. I also have a third or fourth seeding of Thai basil and that just never took off. There is a rosemary plant there that I trimmed back. So that's doing pretty good. So hopefully once I remove that green onion, this will have a little bit more space. And then back to this bed, which is mostly cleaned out minus a few pepper plants towards our front. So in the front here, we have Hungarian sweet wax, which I harvested everything that I could. And then this one right here is habanero. And this one does have a lot of plant, but I was never able to get a harvest off of it. Nothing ever ripened. So those are all coming out. All right, I got that bed cleaned out. That's all the debris that came out of that bed and the peppers in this bed. But I wanted to show you something. So I wanted to show you the quality of the soil. It's not as light and fluffy as my other material. This one definitely has larger chunks. So I wasn't going to cover this with plastic. I was possibly leaving it open so that I could plant in it if I ever got to it. But now that I look at this soil, I'm definitely going to cover it with plastic so that I can heat up and kind of break this down even a little bit more. I'm going to show you the soil that I normally grow in. So this is the soil that most of my beds are composed of. And if you pick it up, it's very light and it's very fluffy. There are hardly any big chunks compared to the other one. That one is quite chunky, where this one's really soft and fluffy. So I want that soil to look a little bit more like this. So that's why I'm gonna cover it and hopefully help it break down a little bit. So it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna continue working in the rain. However, I am gonna put my camera down. We have a series of what? One, two, three, four, five beds left to clean out. So if it does stop raining, I'll come back and show you what how far I've gotten. So it never stopped raining yesterday. So I wasn't able to get out here and show you what I finished, but Today it is nice and sunny and everything was done yesterday and all the beds have been cleared and prepped for the next growing season. However, I did make quite a mess in the growing area. So like around the gravel and stuff, all of my garden debris as far as like tools, structures, what have you, were all over the place. So I need to get that cleaned up, but just wanted to show you what the space looks like now that everything is pulled out. I have all the beds that I won't be using covered in plastic. And before I end this video, I wanted to show you where all of the garden debris is currently piled up. This is a temporary holding space. So this is my next project that I'm going to tackle. It is how I make compost and how I'm able to make compost that I can plant within six months or about six months. So that is the next video coming up. So make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.